Welcome learners. We are in our CRE lesson. The topic of discussion is Prophet Amos and today we get to look at the day of the Lord. Your station is the TV, your favorite learning station and your tutor is Roger Shira. Welcome all and let us learn. Remember class, in our previous lesson we did look at Israel's election, the remnant and restoration. We looked at what is the Israel election? What does it mean? Right? What does it mean about res uh, restoration? Right? And also the remnant. Who are the remnants? And we said these were people who returned to Jerusalem after the exile. Good. In today's class, we get to look at the day of the Lord. Class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss the teaching of Amos on the day of the Lord. Straight to Amos teaching. Now, what is this day of the Lord? What is the view of the day of the Lord in the Old Testament? What is the view of the day of the Lord in the New Testament? How did the Israelites get to perceive the day of the Lord? Good. In the Old Testament, the day of the Lord is the day that Yahweh would make Israel victorious against other nations. Right? On this day, the Israelites believed that God would establish his rule over and with Israel. Look at, look at, look at, look at what uh, the Israelites thought of the day of the Lord. The, this is the day that God would establish an everlasting rule, right? And also over and with Israel. Now the day of the Lord was also established to, to be the day when Israel would be prosperous. Good. Israel would have favor with God and just would triumph over the weekend. This is the, the day God will make the Israelites prosperous. God will give the Israelites favor, right? They will receive, they will receive the favor for the Lord. This is the, the time the Israel would triumph over the wicked. Good. But again, according to Amos, this was the perception of the Israelites on the day of the Lord. On the day of the Lord. What about, what about Amos teaching, right? Now Amos told that the day of the Lord would mean the following. It will be a day of darkness and no light. Total darkness and there will be no light, right? Look at that, day of darkness, right? The day of darkness, there will be no light. It will be a day of suffering and no one would escape this day. Now look at the perception of the Israelites they had on the day of the Lord and also what now most, uh, Amos taught of the day of the Lord. A day of total darkness. No one could escape this day. Good. Now the, the day also would be accompanied by cosmic signs such as the, the eclipse, right? Where the sun would go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. Eclipse. And I know we have all seen an eclipse, how it, how it happens. Right? That's what we expected. The, 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 this is what to expect. Cosmic science. For example, the eclipse. Good. Look at that. That's now the eclipse. That's the eclipse. That's the eclipse. And also, the day of the Lord. God will cause everyone to wear sackcloth as a sign of mourning. Remember, this was not a day the Israelites would, would triumph over the wicked. Right? This is not the day Israel was to be made prosperous. This is the day people would be suffering, right? They'll be wearing the sackcloth as a sign of mourning. So they were in mourning mode, right? The Israelites were mourning. Look at that. They, 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 they were, look at that person wearing a sackcloth, sign of mourning. Look at the second image, right? That is it, wearing sackcloth. Also, the Israelites could shave their heads as a sign of sorrow. You always see that. When people shave their heads as a sign of sorrow. Now, uh, class, we have basically looked at the day of the Lord. And we have looked at the Israelites had a different uh, a, a perspective on the day of the Lord. They, they thought that this is the day they will be prosperous. This is the day Israel would triumph uh, on another, these, uh, these are the uh, people, the wicked. But Amos taught on a different way. This is a day of suffering, a day of darkness. Right? Day of darkness. People wear sackcloth as a way of mourning. For our task class, can we get to 
what can you get to do this? What did the Israelites understand by the day of the Lord, right? What, the, what was the understanding of the day of the Lord according to the Israelites? Thank you, class, for your participation and attendance. And as always, this is a Link TV, your favorite learning channel, where you always get to watch and learn.